first of all, on behalf of my wife and my sons, and on behalf of my other family, uh, our people at the Office of Chief Medical Examiner, we wish to extend our deepest sympathies uh, to the families and everyone else who has been so hurt by this event. Um, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Uh, the Office Chief Medical Examiner uh, got here, uh, actually the Chief Medical Examiner, uh, got here a couple hours after the building was secured. Uh, we were here until approximately 12.30 last night. Uh, we thank the uh, emergency services who built us a temporary uh, facility in the parking lot. And we uh, uh, took uh, identification photographs and did preliminary identification on uh, all the victims and had everybody transported back to Farmington by uh, about, about 1 in the morning. Uh, our entire staff turned out, uh, started the post-mortem examinations this morning. Uh, we completed the children by about 1.30, and I believe everybody except the uh, uh, assailant and uh, his mother will be finished uh, tonight, and I'll do those tomorrow morning. Um, uh, Lieutenant Vance and staff have a list of the names uh, and the uh, dates of birth. Uh, anything else on there? Uh, no, sir. No. No. Uh, and that'll be distributed. Uh, hope we got enough copies. Um, everybody, uh, death was caused by, uh, uh, everyone that we've completed so far was caused by gunshot wounds. Um, and uh, obviously the manner of death on all these cases has been classified as homicide. Um, How many medical examiners work today, sir? Uh, I have four doctors, and uh, man, I think all ten of my technicians, both the full-timers and part-timers, were there. Um, and... Uh, uh, one student from Quinnipiac University, this was her first day, that was kind of interesting. Uh, and uh, uh, the majority of our investigative staff were working on this at some point, whether they were uh, with us last night or uh, on the job today. And our, uh, uh, I think a lot of our uh, clerical or, or uh, what they call processing techs who do the paperwork and so forth were there. They're up all on the second floor, and I didn't get there today. <laughs> Sir, you Dr. obviously, by the nature of your job, you deal with horrible things at times. Is this one over the top? Is this one a bit different than things you dealt with before, sir? Uh, uh, did everybody hear the question? No. Uh, uh, was was uh, uh, given what I deal with all the time, is this one over the top? Um, I've been at this for a third of a century. Uh, and it's my sensibilities may not be the average man uh, but this probably is the worst I have seen or uh, the worst um, that I know of any of my colleagues having seen and uh, that all the more makes me uh, uh, proud and, and grateful to our staff who uh, uh, to a man have uh, have just uh, behaved uh, most professionally uh, uh, and, and strongly, and um, I hope uh, I hope they and I hope uh, the people of Newtown uh, don't have a crash on their head later. But. Doctor, 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 on that, on that examination, did you tell which caliber of the handgun compared to the rifle of these uh, shooting victims were? Uh, it's a good thing it's not being prosecution because then I couldn't answer that. But uh, all the wounds that I know of at this point were caused by the uh, the long the long weapon. So the, the, the rifle was the primary weapon. Yes. And what caliber were the bullets? Uh, question was what caliber were these bullets? And I know I probably know more about firearms than most pathologists. But if I say it in court, they yell at me and don't make me answers. So.
I'll let the police uh, 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 deal with that for you. Uh, Doctor, can Doctor, you tell the, about uh, the nature of the wounds? Were they were they at very close range? Were the children shot from across the room? Can you tell? Um, I only did seven of the autopsies. The victims I had ranged from three to eleven wounds apiece, and I only saw two of them with close-range shooting. Uh, but that's a, you know that's a sample. I really don't have detailed information on the rest of the, the injuries. But you said it was the long rifle that was used. Yes. But the long rifle was, was discovered in the car. That's not correct. Not correct, sir. To follow up on that question: How many bullets, Casey, uh, Frank, did you find total? Oh, I'm lucky I can tell you how many I found. Uh, I don't know. There were lots of them, okay? Uh, this type of weapon is not... Uh, the, the bullets are designed in such a fashion that the energy... This is very clinical. I shouldn't be saying this, but the energy is deposited in the tissue... Uh, and so the bullet stays in. Doctor, did children die quickly? Are you able to tell that? It's, uh, it's always a difficult question, and obviously I don't have uh, 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 I don't have detailed information on all of them, but this is a very uh, devastating uh, set of injuries. Did they stop uh, I, I don't, I don't the best of my ability to answer that question, which is always less than perfect. Uh, if so, not for very long. Well, most of the injuries. Uh, all the ones. Uh, I believe so. Yes. What time? Uh, we did not bring the bodies and the families into contact. We took uh, pictures of them, um, of, of their facial features. You have, uh, uh, it's, it's easier on the families when you do that. Uh, there is uh, a time and a place for up close and personal in the grieving process. But to accomplish this, uh, we felt it would be best uh, to do it this way. And uh, you can sort of, uh, you can control the situation. Uh, depending on your photographer, and I have very good photographers. Uh, but uh, you know, if the difference in the time of death between the body that was recovered from the house and the body that was recovered from the house? Uh, no, I don't. How so, young? Sorry, doctor, I don't. <laughs> how young was the youngest victim, doctor? And how old was the oldest victim? Uh, y'all going to have to look at the spreadsheet when we pass it out. I'm sorry. That you don't. Uh, the, I, all the ones I know, with, uh, we're all first. Everybody I dealt with, I believe they're all first graders. Did the gunman kill himself with the rifle? No. I don't. I, I don't know yet. I, I'll, I'll examine him tomorrow morning. But I, I don't. I don't think so. Can you discuss the injuries? The fatal injuries? I have not seen her yet. In terms of the children, were they found all in one location, one classroom? Um. Guys, what are we releasing in that? Okay. Uh, the the uh, Paul and company will deal with that. Paul and company, Lieutenant Vance, is going to handle that one. We discussed this briefly with the staff before I came here. There was, um, I believe everybody was hit more than once. Was there any evidence of a struggle, any bruises, or? The nature of the shooting, and the, the, was there any sense that there was a lot of care taken to precision on the shooter, or was it spread uh, sort of randomly? Both. It's a very difficult question to answer. Okay. Uh, the wounds. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it, it's really... Uh, you'd think after the thousands of people I've seen shot, I could answer that question, but I... It's, if I attempted to answer it in court, there'd be an objection, and they'd win. <laughs> Doctor, can you describe? You said you did seven personally. These kids looked like when they came to you. What were they wearing? Can you describe what they were? They were wearing cute kid stuff. I mean, they're first graders. They're wearing cute kid stuff. You know? It's the kind of stuff you'd, you'd you'd send your kids or your grandkids out the door on, on to first grade. In. Doctor, can you discuss the 
fatal injuries to uh, the adults? Uh, they're similar to those of the children. <laughs> Doctor, the, the children that you autopsied, where on the body were they? Um, all over. All over. What about his mother? Pardon? I have not examined her yet. That'll be tomorrow morning. Were they not sitting at desks, or were they running away when this happened? Or... I'll let the guys who the scene guys uh, uh, talk address that issue. Okay. Um, Obviously, I was at the scene. Obviously, I'm very experienced in that, but there are people who are uh, uh, the number one professionals in that. I'll let, the, let them know. Dr. You said that the, the bodies that uh, you examined the seven had three, had three to 11 shots. And that's just the ones that I did, yeah. Just the one you, you, yeah. uh, you examined. So this man was sitting there shooting repeatedly. Uh, I, think, I, I think the... Uh, yeah, I think the guys who did the crime scene are going to be able to tell you something about how many cartridges were found. Is there a protocol for how you, how you, the order you did the uh, autopsies, like the uh, uh, mother and the... Uh, our goal, our goal was to get the kids out and available to the funeral directors first, uh, uh, just for, well, yeah, obvious reasons. <laughs> how many boys and how many girls? No idea. Doctor, I, yeah, I don't know. You said before when I asked you about, the, you said third of a century, this is the worst you've seen. Are you, I know you're a professional again, and I know you have a veneer that you put up. Were you emotional at any point? Did this get to you at any point where you had to sh fight back tears? Not yet. Okay. But, uh, yeah, there have been times in my career when I've, for reasons I don't appreciate, go in the locker room and sit on and cry but uh and I, I think if you if you if you don't have to do that you shouldn't be in this business but for this one uh not yet notice i said yet okay. all right folks uh thank you very much uh can you say it for your I, name yeah sure uh just i hope you i hope you all put this in your calendar because in, in, in 31 years uh, and 26 as chief medical examiner, this is the only second press conference I've given. Uh, it's it's H. Wayne W. A. Y. N. E. Carver C. A. R. V. E. R. Uh, and it's the second. And that's why I don't use the H because when my father uh, asked my grandfather, he said fine, but. As long as you never call him Harold. So um, can you just real quick? Did you say they, did they set up a tent in the parking lot? It wasn't a tent. It was this magnificent thing, uh, and it, 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 it's sectional and it sticks together with Velcro, and then they stake it to the ground, and electricity and lights and heat appear. It's and it's it's a, from the Department of Emergency Management, and I I think it came from the Army, but I'm not sure. I think it's these things that they use. Uh, and and, and uh, to set up field hospitals very quickly, mobile hospitals. And have all the children's bodies been returned to the parents or mortuaries? I don't know. Okay. The mortuaries have all been called. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, but they're ready to be released, these bodies. The, the paperwork's been done as of 1.30. The paperwork is done. Then, and if the funeral, the usual drill is the funeral homes call us, and as soon as the paperwork's done, we call them back. That process was completed for the children at 1.30 today. You the bodies to where? To uh, our office in Farmington. How do you transport them? We have our uh, transport vehicles. We have three vehicles uh, and uh, a lot of guys to drive them. Um, they're, they're, we're, uh, actually, one of the highlights of uh, my administration is that we make them as nondescript and unmarked as possible. Just yeah, to foil you guys. <laughs> no, when you started out, they started out at six. six okay. When you yeah. removed the bodies, were, can you tell us how the numbers were coming out of the two classrooms of the victims? Were most of the victims in both of those classrooms? I, I don't have the differential between the two classrooms. Okay. The adults, were the majority of the adults found in the front office or in the classroom? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the police handle that because they're the scene guys. Doc, you said you're going to examine the bodies so. over uh, Nancy Lanza and Persona Yes. Yes. Are we doing that personally? Yeah. Uh, it, 
It just so happened it was my weekend. Doctor, you said you can't confirm that the, uh, the gunshot wounds of the assailant are self-inflicted. Is that because you don't have evidence? I, I just... You don't know. I, 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 you haven't checked it yet. I can't technically make that diagnosis until I examine it, okay? okay? I mean, I, I don't want to belabor the obvious. That's what everybody believes at this point. But in terms of my uh, fiduciary responsibilities, I haven't executed them yet. Okay.